Hey guys, welcome to the DM's Craft. DM Scotty here. Great to have you with me. Today we are going to make some furniture. Super easy furniture, okay? And you know, it can be really frustrating sometimes making furniture with little craft sticks and all those little, little bits and pieces. They're all falling apart and you're trying too much glue or too little or whatever and it's just, ah, you know, or you have fat fingers and you can't get in there and get that stuff, you know, it's just, it can be really frustrating for some people. And it might be more, more time than a lot of people want to spend on it. Not only that, I want to talk about aesthetically why you might want to use this more minimalist furniture because, uh, you know, a game, not just game aesthetics, but ga for gamer reasons, okay? And you'll see that later in the video. If you can't find any of these craft supplies locally, check out my links below. Uh, these are my affiliated links and I will get commission from those. So that helps out the craft and that's, that's great. I love that. Uh, it helps me bring you videos and more content and also uh, try out more craft supplies myself that I can bring to you guys. So let's hit that table and start making this easy, super easy furniture, the easiest furniture I have ever made, and it looks great at the table. My craft journey on this project started when I found these tumbling blocks and there's 36 in a box which gives you quite a few to work with, right? So what I did was I glued several of them together, then I glued them in fours, and then I glued one on the bottom and two on the top. And here's what I got out of the box and uh, you can see I got quite a few things to work with. Now let's uh, start detailing these. After the blocks dried I wanted to add some more detail so I got some card stock. You can use a cereal box or anything like that. And I just cut some doors for the cabinet. I'm going to make the four piece a cabinet. And I cut some doors and just glue those on with my white glue. Now I also had a problem with the top where the four come together. It looks like four blocks glued together. So I wanted to cover that up. So I just cut a piece of cardstock and covered that right up. For the two blocks glued together, I had a couple ideas. One was to use the two blocks as a bar in a uh, tavern. And the other is to use it as a dresser. So what I decided to do was cut uh, some more cardstock. And I cut it an uh, inch and a quarter, and it's a centimeter wide, and I use that for drawers in the dresser. So I just glue those on with my white glue and let it dry up. I wanted to use the three blocks glued together as kind of hardy tables, and I thought it'd be nice to have a metal banding on that. So I used cardstock from a donut box, and if you use the glossy side of the, of the donut box, it kind of makes the, when you paint it like metal, it makes it look smooth, more smooth than just regular cardstock. So I like to do that, and I just uh, wrap that around the edge, each edge of the table, and that gave me a nice, uh, that'll give a nice banding effect on the table itself when we paint it up. All right, I've got my medium brown and my tan, and I'm going to do some uh, planking here, and that's one technique I'm going to use. I'll do like, kind of like planking boards here, and then just paint a highlight on there. And in other sections, I'm going to do what I call boards, just paint the whole section, the color, add the uh, highlight, and I'll be good to go, right? So here I just do on the side again with the planking. And very cool, just add the highlight. I'm good to go. Now I'll paint the boards on the front. I'm just doing those a solid brown. And then I'm adding a highlight to it. So kind of mix, I like to mix it in while it's wet. And uh, just easy to do. Get those edges. Mix it in a bit. Now here I have a dresser doing the same kind of thing. So like the planks technique, or the boards technique, and then the planks, add some highlight there, and I'm good to go. So just continue those techniques. Here's the table, right? So I'm doing the planking on that. Just add my highlight. And just couldn't be easier, right, guys? Nice. All right, now that's dried, and I'm going to add the uh, some gunmetal to the edge here for the banding. And you see how the brown changes a bit, right? It darkens up when it hard when it dries up, right? So I got the banding. Now I'm just going to do some rivets. I'm just going to paint some black dots 
on the banding. And that'll just give a nice look like it's been riveted. Paint, I'm painting between the boards or the blanks there. And uh, get on the edge there. And nice, I have an end table. Very cool. Here I'm painting a, a bench for the tables and I've got the planks on top. I just painted the planks. And now I'm going to do the legs. So I've just, I painted that black, you know, all around the edge there. And I'm just simulating the painting the legs on, right? So it just looks like his legs, it's just that I didn't actually have to craft that. So it just couldn't be easier. All right. I want to do one last easy detail, and these are these micro beads, okay? And these are already painted gunmetal, so this is perfect. I'm going to use my E6000, and I'll put little uh, handles on the drawers, right? So I'm just uh, dipping it in the E6000 and applying it to each drawer here on the dresser. And wow, that's just couldn't be easier, right, guys? And there's a million beads in here. You'll never run out of these. I use these for doors and things, too. So you can find these at my links below with the video. So super easy. Now here is another cabinet with some drawers I did. So just really easy, right? And I think they look great. All right, let's take a look at our furniture and look at that. The cabinet, just simple but really effective, right? Just the cardstock doors and top and the beads and just the wood pieces. And wow, just a simple but just really effective piece of furniture and just super easy for those who don't want to fiddle with all those little teeny bits, right? And here's another version. It's just a cabinet with some drawers, right? And you can do all kinds of variations on this stuff, you know, and uh, yeah, just simple and super easy, but looks great on the table. And uh, yeah, just some paint. Now here's a dresser drawer, so same kind of idea. And uh, yeah, just the same kind of paint job. And you know, you can really crank these out fast. So there we go. Cool. And here's a bar I set up, right? It's just um, I have a dresser here, you know, on the end. So it could be, you know, to hold libations or things like that. And then you could just make pieces that are just two pieces glued together without any drawers to be bar pieces. And you could set up any kind of arrangement you wanted. Here's another dresser drawer. Set up any arrangement you wanted with the bar like that. And just make different uh, configurations. So just super simple, right? And uh, But very effective, very effective. And here's the table, right? And, uh, you know, the bench. And I like the bench. The figures can stand on it. You know, the chairs, there's no way they could stand, put on the chairs. But if you can stand them on these benches, they kind of look like they're sitting down at the table. And just super simple, but, you know, really effective. Looks like a really stout table, but, uh, you know, you probably have those in an inn. So there you go. Some super easy furniture for you guys in your table. Hey, friends and fellow crafters, I want to talk about the furniture for a minute, right? It is very minimalist, right? And that's on purpose because the minimalism actually helps you in the game. It actually becomes more versatile, right? If you make tables and that kind of thing with stuff in it or cab, you know, with stuff in it or on it, the players assume that that stuff's actually in it or on it. If they see a bunch of maps and potions and scrolls, they're like, oh, I'm going to loot all that. Like, oh, sorry, there's just, there's just cobwebs on there, right? Uh, so that can be frustrating as a player, but it's on the miniature, blah, 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 you know. Uh, so with this stuff, you can say the stuff is on it, even though it's not modeled on it, right? So if you have the table down and the players go and look at the table, you can say, oh, there's this map of the area, you know, laying on the table and, you know, a gold goblet, you know, uh, with somebody's name on it or whatever. So, you know, that, that, the table becomes an anything thing. You can put it down on the table, and then the players don't just assume that stuff's on there. They have to go check it out and ask you, and you can describe what's on it. Same with cabinets, right? Uh, if you have shelves with all these books and everything in it, the players assume that's all in there. Uh, you know, so, but if you have a cabinet and the players open it, you could have all that stuff in there. You could have potions and scrolls and maps. Or you could have a rat jump out, you know, and that's it. Because uh, cobwebs and a rat, you know. So this furniture actually gives you more versatility than some special furniture you make that has all those little bits on it, which is cool. And you might want to make that for certain situations. But this furniture is actually usable, you know, for every game, right? Because you can describe what's in it or on it. So I just want to bring that up, that not only is it easy to make, it's very usable in your game. And, uh, you know, at a moment's notice, or if you need to throw stuff down, you don't have to worry about what's on the table and what's not on the table, right? Okay, I just want to talk about that for a minute. If you guys like my videos, 
uh, subscribe to the channel. If you like my what I do and you want to support my work, check out my Patreon. I have extra content for my supporters and a super secret group you can join on Facebook. I just want to thank you guys very much. You guys take care and keep watching those videos. Keep crafting. Go forth and craft.